people, I really, you know, feel bad that I gave up that solo shot, but I know it's just part of the game. Um, but I, I think honestly, it's just showing that everything I've worked on this offseason and working with Doug and and Sags have been paying off, you know, getting ahead, staying ahead and pounding the zone and just coming after guys. What what that pitch to Adamas, it, 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 according to StatCast, it was it would, it would have been a home run in like 10 ballparks in, in baseball. Can you take me through that at bat? Um, honestly, uh, it, it was just trying to just get ahead and stay ahead. Uh, it was a fastball away. Um, and the way it kind of came off the bat, I kind of, I thought it was a pop-up, honestly. And then it ended up hitting the top of the fence. So um, it was, it was a little gut-wrenching because I was like, man, it's a tight situation, you know, momentum and everything. So I was trying to do everything I could to try to keep the momentum on our side. And, and I know you want, like you said, you want to win, but what do, what do these outings do for you uh, confidence wise? And not just for you, but seeing Dane, what he did and then John coming in, you know, for you guys as a, as a, as a pitching staff. I think it's huge. Um, it's, it just it just goes to attest that, you know, just the confidence as well that I've grown over this year. Uh, but mainly it was just piggybacking off of last year where I picked up off um, and just more so just trying to continue being aggressive against guys and just saying, hey, here, here it is, like hit it. Thanks, Taylor. Thank you. Other questions for Taylor? Chris. Hey Taylor, Chris was Chris Woodward was talking about your fastball, saying that there isn't a lefty that's got a fastball like yours throughout throughout the game. And you know, when you only have a three pitch mix and you throw the same four seamer, and you're not able to hitters aren't able to make as much contact. How how does that drive your confidence up, and on how much you can use your fastball to to stay ahead of hitter and get ahead of hitters? I think I think just the biggest thing um, I've learned is how to not be scared about it and not be scared to use it. Um, I trust all my pitches and everything. But for me, honestly, if I'm able to, you know, I, my initial thought is not to go in every AB and try to blow you by with fastballs every time, you know, try to make an adjustment. But um, honestly, just for me, I, it, it helps me out. I've learned it from starting and now using it in a pen to where I learned that if I'm able to get ahead with the fastball, whatever it is, it helps set everything else up like it, it showed, you know, today. I think the biggest test just overall for you in your major league career so far, at least pitching out of the bullpen, has been maintaining success past an inning. And then tonight is probably the, the, the best you've been able to do that so far. Um, or do you just take just like, okay, well, it's just easy. I'll repeat it, you know, <laughs> but that's obviously easier said than done. What, what can you do to continue to be able to do that the next time out? I take, I, I think one thing that's really helped me out, um, I, um, try to take every every inning as a single inning shutout. So I try not to look too, too far ahead. I've never been a guy that looks too far ahead. Uh, I kind of did that the first first guy, Brett, and, you know, end up walking him, kind of was thinking a little two pitches ahead. And I kind of had to put myself in check and be like, you know, let's take it pitch by pitch, like how we usually do it. But uh, just taking it inning by inning and thinking of, of every time as a single inning shutout and uh, trying to, my biggest thing is trying to just get ahead, stay ahead with everything. All right. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you. A couple more, uh, Levi. Uh, Taylor, with us not being in the clubhouse, we're get, kind of getting a feel for where guys are. Um, I don't know if vibe check is the right word, but I mean, you, you, four losses in a row, that's frustrating, but also some really encouraging signs from the pitching staff. Like what, what's the, what's the feel right now in there? I think the feel is, is definitely um, just confidence. It, it's, it's there for sure. I think um, just from a pitching side as well, I don't really know on, about the hitting side, but I know from a pitching side, uh, you know, we're not really panicking, you know, we're, we're taking it day by day. I know that's something I do. And I think that's helped me out a lot, just not trying to look too far ahead. And plus they, they dev, they've done a really good job of continuing to reiterate to us like, Hey, you know, this is, you know, we're only a month into the season. There's no need to try to hit the panic button on like, you know, the slider's not working or, you know, whatever guys are throwing. You know, so if, if it's my if it's if it's anything, we're definitely taking it game by game. I know the hitters are, too. Uh, but I, I know I can only speak from the pitching side that, uh, you know, we're, we're as a staff, like we're not nobody in the staff bullpen or starting is hitting the panic button at all. Rob, thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, last one, Alex. Hey, Taylor. So if I'm not mistaken, outside of opening day, this is the most pitches you've thrown since the start of 2020 uh, in a major league game. So uh, it. it 
it, are they looking to extend it a little bit more? Are they looking to extend you a little bit more? Is that kind of the process that's going? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Um, my, 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 my biggest thing is I'm trying to uh, just try to go as long as I can. You know, um, honestly, I, I felt good. Could have went back out there for another one, but I understand the situation and everything. Um, but I mean, honestly, it was just, just honestly, when, I, I mean, they, they called me on opening day. So like I told my, my parents and family, like I, I'm ready for whatever they call me, you know, cause I, now, now that I've, I've, I was able to pitch in the pen last year and had some ups and downs, but honestly, the biggest thing I learned took from last year and took it into this year was just more so just trying to find a rhythm and just a routine because pitching going from starting to the pin is very hard, you know, and especially doing it on a 60 game sprint, you know, every game matters. So uh, I definitely worked on a bunch of things last year that carried over this year. But uh, honestly, I don't I don't know. Uh, I think right now is just trying to just use me as a bridge guy uh, in between Dane and, you know, try to go as long as I can. You know, I always I always mess with Ian Kennedy. I'm like, hey, man, you know, on days I'm throwing like I'm gonna try to go as long, as long as I can to set you up, you know, so. Appreciate it, Taylor. Thank you. No problem. Okay, that let we'll let Taylor go. That will conclude our post-game zooms for this evening. Thank you, everybody.